understanding, being self-effacing. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're exploring a very interesting phrase, being self-effacing. Have you ever come across someone who downplays their own achievements or prefers to stay out of the spotlight? Well, that's exactly what we're talking about today. Let's unravel the layers of this phrase together and see how it can be used in our everyday communication. At its core, being self-effacing refers to the characteristic of a person who is modest about their achievements and tends not to draw attention to themselves. It's an admirable quality that involves humility, modesty, and sometimes a bit of humor about oneself. People who are self-effacing often highlight the contributions of others instead of their own, preferring to remain in the background rather than seeking the spotlight. To understand this concept better, let's look at some examples. In conversations, a self-effacing person might say, oh, it was nothing really. Anyone could have done it, even if they've achieved something significant. At work, they might be the ones who contribute significantly to a project but ensure the team gets the credit. In social settings, they might divert compliments or praise to others, focusing on the other person's attire or achievements instead of their own. These examples show that self-effacing individuals often possess a high level of emotional intelligence, recognizing the value in lifting others up and not seeking personal accolades. Now, you might wonder why someone would choose to be self-effacing. It's not about underestimating oneself but rather about valuing humility and teamwork over personal gain. Being self-effacing can improve relationships by making others feel valued and appreciated, foster a team-oriented environment, especially in professional settings, help maintain a balanced perspective on one's achievements and failures. However, it's important to strike a balance. Being overly self-effacing can sometimes lead to undervaluing one's contributions or not acknowledging one's worth. It's about knowing when to step back and when to take credit for your accomplishments. Being self-effacing is a trait that can greatly enhance personal and professional relationships, promoting a culture of humility, respect, and team collaboration. We hope this video has shed some light on the beauty of being modest and the impact it can have on those around you. Remember, it's not about hiding your light under a bushel, but rather about shining it in a way that illuminates everyone. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this explanation helpful. Stay curious, and keep learning!